How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to be comparing brown switches against the blue switches. So I've been using the brown switches for uh, just over two months now I think and the blue switches I've been using for about a year or something and so I've got a new keyboard with brown switches and I just wanted to compare the differences between them. So on the right we have the Ajaz AK33 and this one has blue switches and on the left we have the Magic Force Smart 1 from Kisan I believe and this one has brown switches. Now they're both really cheap keyboards but we're not here to compare the keyboards we're just here to compare the switches. So let's start off first with the blue switch over here. I'm just going to move this one to the side, bring this one in. Okay, so this switch is known for typing and it's the most clickiest of them all and it's the most loudest one of the all of the mechanical switches out there. So if I go ahead and type on this, you'll hear a really loud click and everything. But that's not all that the keyboard is all about. The switches, I mean, uh, it's about a lot of other things as well. And it is a bit dusty because I had it put away for a few months and it's just collected some dust now. But here we go. So I'm just going to type something. So I typed something over there, I don't know what it is but it's something easy for you to find out and for me to know. So as you can see the blue switches are really loud and clicky and a lot of people like the blue switches just for that reason. Blue switches are known for the typing experience and since I've been using this for over a year I can definitely agree that these are probably the best key, key switches if you're gonna get a keyboard just for typing. If you type letters or do word documents and everything the blue switches are the ones to go. Now on the top when you're pressing them down they're a bit mushy on the top just slightly stiff and then after that it's just linear completely down. So a bit mushy on the top and then just linear complete down and I really like that because it kind of gives a really nice feeling. The feedback is really really nice from the blue switches. So what's the difference between blue switches and the brown switches? Now brown switches are a lot more expensive, I mean um, they cost a bit more. So what could be the difference? So in case you're wondering, brown switches are exactly the same as blue switches. The only difference is they don't make the click sound. They make a different sound and that's the key hitting the uh, aluminium plate of, on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do a typing test on this one. So you can probably tell the difference between the blue switches and the brown switches. Now these feel exactly the same or almost exactly the same as the blue switches. A bit mushy on the top and then completely linear at the bottom. But the difference is these don't make a, a loud clicky sound. And in return they are a lot more quieter. So I'll just go ahead and do a silence test I guess. These are the quietest keys that I've ever come across. Now in the past I have tried to go and look for a silent keyboard if that makes any sense. But these are the, probably the most quietest keys I've ever come across. I'm guessing red is even better than this. And they're not like really bad keys. They're actually mechanical keys that are not really loud. Um, so I'm really impressed with the brown switches. And so who are these brown switches for? Well basically these are basically the best mixture between gaming and typing. Because they're the blue switches except without the click you can actually type get the same feedback. Um, but for gaming they're a bit more quieter and they feel really really good for gaming. They're quite responsive and everything. So these are just the middle spot between the red and the blue. So in the middle is going to be the brown. Now let's go ahead and do a quiet test on the blue switches over here. And you can hear that. So that's it. So these are the both two switches. Brown switch and the blue switch. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will be reviewing this keyboard in the uh, near future. So in my opinion I would go for brown switches because uh, uh, they kind of feel the, the, the feedback that they give and the sound that they give is a lot more mechanical and stuff. It's a bit more steampunky whereas this, the blue switches, they're really made for just typing experience. In terms of gaming you can't game on them but they are really loud and they can get annoying with even with the headphones on and I have 
done some gameplay videos and they are really really annoying not also to you when you're playing the game but also when you're trying to do noise reduction on the keys so it's really annoying in the commentary and they can't mush up the sound um so definitely do recommend the brown switches over the blues but if you're going to be doing just typing and not gaming then i definitely recommend the blue switches which are not bad on their own they're just different flavors and in my opinion they're both really really great keyboards and great switches